Hello and welcome back to the Hobbycast, the show where Ewan and I share our hobbies with you, the internet. So Ewan, what are we doing today? So today we're going to be opening two Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Boxes. Now this is the latest in the set of Pokemon TCG. And we have actually recorded a video before this that didn't go very well. So yeah, yeah, we opened an entire Champion's Path one of these. Mm. So this is our second time doing this, but hopefully it goes a little bit better than the first one did. Mm. So you and how are you enjoying lockdown now that we are officially out of it? Uh, I mean, it hasn't really changed a huge amount for me. Like apart from us going shopping yesterday. Well, I mean, for me, it's hardly changed at all because mm. I don't start work until next Monday. Yeah. But I feel like once I do get back into the swing of things, it will be a bit more interesting. If anything, like the roles have been reversed for me because I was going to university throughout lockdown. And now that and now you've broken over, up for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm not going to university. So it feels like I'm actually in lockdown now as opposed to when we were actually in lockdown. Yeah, that is a bit strange. One thing I will say, though, is that Christmas shopping during this whole coronavirus thing is the most stressful thing yeah. that I've ever had to do. I'm going to I'm not going to even attempt to do mine in person. I'm going to do everything online. I'm not going to go to shops and wait outside and queues to go uh -huh. inside. It's just not worth it. But what else is going on aside from Coronavirus. I mean, we've got a vaccine yeah, coming next year. Yeah, we've got a vaccine year. coming to the UK. Um, it's been approved. I mean, probably young people like Ryan and I aren't going to get it for ages, but I'm hoping it gives us some kind of like superpowers or something. Hopefully by next year, I'd like to be able to go to gigs again. That yeah. would be good for me, especially. Hmm. I mean, if it could give me like an extra tail or an extra Like Tanuki Mario. That makes, it, that makes it sound like I've already got a tail, but... Yeah, if I could get some kind of weird superpower. Have you ever been on um, r slash superpowers? No, I haven't. It's, it's like the funniest thing ever. It's like really, really, really stupid superpowers. Like my favorite one is like, you can summon an orange at will, right? but you can only do it once. Okay. And I find that hilarious because like, some point in your life, you're just gonna summon this orange. What and are you going to do with an orange, though? No, but the fact is that you're going to be like, oh my god, I've summoned an orange, I can I can do this now. And then you're going to go to someone else and be like, look, I can do this. And you're not going to be able to prove it. It's the card trick four? Yeah, it's four, cool. yeah. Okay. What else is going on? There was something else that you wanted to Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about the uh, Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson fight. I don't know if you saw that. Did you see that? I, I know that it happened, but mm. I don't know... Like, I, I have no idea who Nate Robinson is. So. Oh, okay. So, Nate Robinson is an actual professional boxer. And he was saying, like, people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul, like, these are, they're fake boxers, you know. Uh -huh. And so he wanted to fight Jake Paul. Um, and they had a match. Uh, Nate Robinson absolutely fooled really? Jake Paul. Yeah, I That's watched, quite impressive. I didn't watch the whole fight. Like, a YouTuber yeah. and not, like, a professional boxer. Mm. Mm -hmm. But um, I was going to ask, you know, do you think you could comfortably fight any anyone <laughs> or a YouTuber maybe? Okay, so I don't think I could comfortably fight anyone, yeah. let alone like professional boxers or YouTubers or anything. So mm -hmm. I think I would just sit out on that one. I don't think I would want to get involved at all. It's kind of a shame that like the only like sp like competitive sport in the YouTube world at the moment is boxing. Do if it was like we sports, like yeah, I probably couldn't beat Jake Paul in a fight. Like, which, well, in person. Which but, one would you do? Would you do, like, bowling or I'm something good, else? I'm, I'm good at bowling. I have the, uh, you know, when you get to, like, a thousand pro points, you get the golden ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got I've got that. But I think, like, Wii Sports Boxing isn't exactly a good representation of actual boxing. Because instead of, like, doing that with the Wii remotes, the best tactic is to literally just, just do that on the spot. And I reckon right. I could probably beat Jake Paul at Wii Sports. I think it would be interesting instead of just YouTube competitive boxing, they started introducing other sports like bowling, chess, uh -huh. like basketball. I, I feel like YouTube Wii Sports bowling could be pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I get that the whole point of like YouTube boxing is that like part of the sport of boxing is that there's beef. Like uh -huh. it's part of the enjoyment of watching it and like before the game, everyone's beefing and then who wins like the match. But like, imagine like beef over like chess <laughs> or like oh, YouTube chess or something like that. I'm Do you reckon you could take on Jake Paul in chess? I don't think I even know how to play chess properly. But no, I, I haven't played chess since I was like 10 years old. But talking about the pools, oh, yeah. there's this whole thing going on with Logan Paul in Pokemon. So he was doing loads and loads of Pokemon mm -hmm. videos a while ago, but he just suddenly stopped doing them, yeah. which I think is kind of like a blessing and a curse at yeah, the same time. Because definitely. while it brought like so much like attention to Pokemon and it's brought in so many new like eager, keen fans, yeah. I feel like 
like all, uh, like a lot of that hype was like driving the price of Pokemon cards up way too much. Yeah, and I definitely. feel like now that he's kind of like stepped aside a bit, it's allowing mm. it to calm down and making it easier for people like us to enjoy the hobby a bit yeah, more, I definitely. think. Yeah, definitely. Because like the prices of Pokemon cards and like products like drove up so much because of Logan Paul. And I mean like for people that already own like a massive collection, like people with like Charizard base set hollows, which are worth like tens of thousands anyway, like mm -hmm. it must have been amazing for them. But for like people like us who are just amateur like collectors like, who do it just for fun. And, and it is expensive, like, yeah, like yeah. alone when you think about it. So it doesn't need to be like even more expensive like it had been at the mm -hmm. moment. With like the Champion's Path, like Charizard and everything being yeah. so sought after, like you can literally sell those for like 500 pounds, mm. which I think is ridiculous, but it is kind of cool at mm. the same time. There's gonna be massive hype around Pokemon next year anyway, because next year is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Oh yeah, um, that's true. So there's gonna be loads of things. I reckon there's gonna be like a Diamond and Pearl remake. Um, there's gonna be uh, a trading card set that's centered around the- uh, Hasn't that already anniversary. been revealed, that one? Yeah, it's called Shining Fates, which is kind of weird because it's a mix of Shining Legends and Hidden Fates, but like those cards are gonna be worth so much. Like in this set, this is just like a normal set, but the one of the cards in it, which is a rainbow rare Pikachu, is worth like literally like 200 pounds. Yeah, that's mad. That's ungraded. Out of three packs so far, I've already got a V and a Hollow, which is pretty cool. It's, not bad, it's, not, it's bad. not bad at all. That Ambrose V is one of the cards I really wanted because I love the artwork of that. So going back to Pokemon, mm. Ewan, why do you like Pokemon so much? See, I've, I've, had, a th uh, I've had a quick think about this and I think there's a number of reasons. Like, I think obviously, like, nostalgia. Yeah, because you've yeah. been playing Pokemon since you were, like, literally, like, six years old. Or yeah, like that, yeah. I've been it? playing Pokemon, like, most of my life. So, like, it's so nostalgic for me to, like, still enjoy it as an adult. But also, I think it blends, like, a few of the different things that I like. Like, I'm really interested and really like wildlife. And obviously, mm -hmm. like, Pokemon, they're basically just animals. Like, glorified, cute animals. Um, and then I think it also tickles my scratch to collect something. Like the whole point of Pokemon, like the whole slogan is catch them all. Like you're supposed to, and I love collecting things, like no matter what it is, I just love collecting. I feel like something that's really impressive about Pokemon, like the brand and the franchise, the whole thing is just how like imaginative it's like been able to like keep being. Yeah. Like I th feel like, like how, how, how many generations have there been? Like eight, eight now? Eight. And like all the monsters are still like arguably I'd say better than like even the first generation of Pokemon because you've got designs like Grimer and Voltorb. They're yeah, yeah. just like, like a pile of sludge yeah. and a Pokeball. I, I hate it when people say like, oh, like Pokemon designs aren't innovative any, anymore. And it's like, if you think about some of the first generation ideas, like Voltorb is literally just a Pokeball. You know, a Geodude is just a rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so, one of the main reasons I love Pokemon so much is because it allows me to have this hobby in the form of the training card game, yeah. which is something that I've kept up through like literally like most of my life. And I still enjoy it just as much as I did when I was a kid. So I think that's really cool. Mm. And like also the fact that like there, there are new Pokemon video games coming out every single year. Yeah. And while Sword and Shield wasn't the best, mm. I still enjoyed it. And yeah. I'm still looking forward to next year. Cause obviously, yeah. like you said, there's Diamond gonna be a Diamond and Pearl remake, hopefully. hopefully yeah. Or I maybe even remasters of some of the original games. Like yeah. isn't there a rumor that there was gonna remaster. be like a super collection or something like yeah, that? Yeah, there's a rumor that there's gonna be a super collection on the Switch of some of the newer games like, um, the Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X and Y, Sun and Moon. Wasn't um, Heart, Gold and Soul Silver meant to be one of them? I hope so, because that, that was one of my favorites. I, th I reckon they're gonna make the Lex Go Johto at some point as well. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people don't really like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but I, I, really I, I, I did really enjoy them. I thought it was a good, interesting new take on the series. Mm. I feel like I would enjoy playing a Johto representation of that. I think they don't offer a huge amount of content but i do really enjoy them because they're just like simplistic yeah one thing i do really like about them is that the different kind of like graphical representation yeah. they take on look at like while sword and shield is trying to be like a better game i think in, t in terms of taking steps for the franchise i really do like that like the cutesy feel of yeah, let's go pikachu and Eevee. definitely yeah Oh, there we oh, go. We've got nice. a, a full art Galarian Surfetch, which is quite cool. That's don't you nice. have this one? No, I don't. I, the only full art I've got is Zarude, which apparently you can get now. 
Uh, if you go into a game store, you can get. Oh, you mean Pokemon. like in in the game? Yeah, like yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in, in the game, you can get as rude as a Pokemon. So Ryan's on his last pack now. Let's see what he gets. If I mean, I you've, can got, open it. you've got a good. I feel box, like yeah, it's been decent. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we can get four pulls hopefully. with this last pack, and it's then we would have had half and half, Ooh. which I think you is, might it's looking like I have. Let's have a look. What, what are you getting? I th oh, I think it might be something good. No, I think it is just a regular V. Whatever Looking it is, at the border. Oh, oh, holy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two full Two arts in an elite trainer box. That, that's, that's pretty mad. good going. It's yeah, like that's impressive. So let me sleeve this one up real quick. Okay, so now Ewan is going to start opening his box. We're going to yep. talk about a few things we'd like to do with the channel in future. Yep. We've got a, a Lego video coming up soon, which we're really I'm really excited about that. We're not going to reveal anything about it just yet, but it is Christmas themed. So hopefully it's going to be a good one. Yeah, and we also want to start streaming because yeah. I feel like at the moment we're finding it a di bit difficult to after years of not filming something, be in front of the camera. Yeah. And I, I feel like we're just kind of freezing up a lot, but we've done some live streams where we open up Pokemon cards on Instagram and it's it's so easy yeah. to just talk. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's it's a lot easier to sit in front of your phone and just use that to record than it is having like, yeah. obviously we have three different cameras set up here. So it's yeah. quite it's quite yeah. nerve wracking. Three times we're, the amount We're trying of our best, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, I actually received my new custom built PC today. Oh yeah, uh, you did, didn't you? Which I'm actually extremely excited to set up. I've been a MacBook user for in my entire life, really. Um, so, I mean, I haven't used a Windows PC since secondary school. Mm -hmm. So I, it's probably going to take a while for me to get used to, but I'm really excited to be able to game. Um, I'm really excited to be able to start streaming. Oh, look at that. Two Tarakians in a row. Oh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a Windows PC at home, but like, I haven't used them for a, for a long, long time. So it'll be interesting to see the kind of things that you can do with that. I feel like it will be good for, for streaming, especially yeah. on Twitch and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to start our own uh, survival multiplayer uh minecraft server oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm i'm really excited to do that. we were thinking about one of our roommates was like oh imagine if we called it the hobby craft and we're like that's an amazing idea until we realized it's a shop and it's literally craft, like yeah. down the road from us yeah hobby craft <laughs> is literally an, an actual shop that's down the road from us uh but i still want to call it that i still think it's a really mm -hmm. good idea i think i've got something in this pack yeah oh. hollow, Ho hollow world lord that's bad. not too bad uh, I'm really pleased with my pulls. I feel like, considering that's like the first opening of Vivid Vault which I've done, those aren't bad, especially to get two full arts. I've really enjoyed opening um, Vivid Voltage. I've got nothing but good cards from it so far. Uh, don't want to jinx that. Of course, because you got Knock that Pikachu VMAX, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I got the Pikachu VMAX. Not which, the rainbow one, no. but just the regular VMAX. It was still cool though. C dot. The reverse, oh, that's nice. Reverse Sam, uh, nice. Zonius, cool. and... Oh! Well done! My oh my god! That is sick. But yeah, I've really enjoyed opening Vivid Voltage. I didn't really like um, Champion's Path because yes, you get a hollow in every single pack, but because of that, I feel like the pulls really suffer. Yeah, I feel like it makes it less exciting when you pull something because obviously like the, the hollows basically take the place of like a regular non-holo rare, which Very means sorry. you get even less like ultra rares such as V, V maxes, full arts, etc. And because there are only two like main chase cards in that set, which are the two Charizards, Hollow you're not exactly looking for much out of it when you think about it. Mm. And especially because most of the cards in that set are already reprints from yeah. already existing Sword and Shield sets. And also because there's only like something like 80, um, uh, cards in the set mm -hmm. like you get like the amount of doubles that i have is is crazy i'm not doing very well you i think you got the good box you could still get an amazing rare though out of that green pack oh that's true actually um one thing that is cool about the yeah. voltage is that usually if you get a green code card in your cat in, in your pack yeah. that means that you're, you're just gonna get a non-holo rare and a reverse hollow. But what's cool about Vivid Voltage is that you can get these things called amazing rares, which Ewan has one of them. I'm sure he'll yeah. put a, a picture up uh, in, in the edit to show what these look like. But they're really cool. They've got like a, a proper nice background behind the Pokemon, which they haven't done before. <laughs> Hopefully I get one now to be able to show you. No, I haven't. I've only got two packs left. I've got two hollows. I, I need well, to get something. I mean, you got, you got two more chances. We'll see. Come on. 
I feel like this might be a good pack. Drum roll. No, it's, no, not, it's not. Well, I still we'll might see. Get, we'll yeah. see. I want to get an amazing rare. Amazing rares are so but nice. Yeah, guys, if you have any ideas for some things you might like to see us do in the future, obviously, uh, just just let us know. Like, make a comment and we will try our best to make sure that we can provide right. good content for you guys. The last pack. You got, you've got a hollow, a V, and two... I feel like... Your box has just stolen my pools. Like they just combined two boxes into one. Right, please. Yes. Okay, right, okay. Right. He's, got, he's got one last chance to get something cool. Okay. Hopefully it's not just a hollow. Please, please be something good. I think I think it is. All right. Yeah, I can see the border peeking Fighting out. Fighting Energy, Dusclops, Electric, uh, Charmeleon, Shuppet, Tutel, Rylu, Eevee, C Dot. Reverse Leon and oh, okay, yeah, that is nice. Nice, Aegis Slash. Yeah, full up. Full up. V. That's nice. That I need to cool. clean that up. Where are my sleeves? Oh, there they are. So, I think that's it for this video. Um, we're gonna start streaming soon. We've got a Lego video coming soon, which we're actually really excited to shoot. Hopefully, we'll be hammering out the videos. We'll have some really good content, and yeah, mm -hmm. it'll all be blessed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the reception that we received on the first yeah. video. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more content. We've got 66 subscribers at the moment, yeah. which personally I'm really pleased with. Trying to Hopefully, get to 100. we'd though. like to see that number, you know, yeah. go up a little bit. But Definitely. other than that, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. We'll Thanks very time. much for watching. Bye-bye.